Greetings folks, <laughs> this is round number two today. Um, I had started my session um, much, much earlier this morning and uh, I was only a few minutes in and load shedding kicked in. Ah, let's kick it. Let's say hello. There we go. We're a bit more awake now, aren't we? Uh, still the same mood though. Hmm. <laughs> anyway. Right, um, yes, so then load shedding kicked in. I had forgotten to check the schedule and um, and uh, yes, yeah, so lights out and everything shut down and that was that was Kit Kat and I back to bed. But um, um, so I'm going to now continue. The lighting you would note has changed because we are now We've got, um, well, it's overcast today, but it's now bright outside. It's now after after 8 o'clock. Um, and uh, we're back in the game. Right then, right then, right then. I hadn't, I'd hardly done anything, so you won't see much change at all. And uh, I'm just going to start working a little bit further here. So, I think this needs to change a little bit, this, this line here. needs to change a little bit as well. Not too dramatically though, however. So sufficiently though to just create a little bit of a difference here. Okay, let's extend this extend this foamy part a little bit here. Just a wee, wee little bit. I'm leaving quite a little bit quite a bit of um, bare paper in there and you'll see why later once I start to add the acrylic um, so for now let's just just a few more nice little details here So in our earlier session, which only lasted 10 minutes or less, I had begun by just explaining why I get up early. <laughs> Sometimes short-lived, <laughs> I 
at times not. Anyway, um, the reason I really enjoy getting up early, number one, um, and second of all, starting my sessions really early as well is firstly there's really good energies at that time of the morning um, anytime from three o'clock to four between three and four thereabouts there's some really really good uh, energies and and there's a certain stillness in the in the in the um, ambiance of things and and just just knowing that all the world is still asleep well all the all the world in in in, in my surroundings um is still fast asleep and even the birds don't wake up for well over an hour after i've begun my session um, and uh, yeah, so it's just a great time of day, and also just but but starting one's day on a clean slate. I I I'd started my session with a with a completely blank mind. I just I you know literally woken up fifteen minutes or so before. Um, and so my head wasn't very clear and and what have you. And that to me is a perfect place to be for starting one's day with a clean slate. With no lasting impressions from the day before or whatever. Um, I tend to not have bad dreams. I have very, very good dreams when I do. Um, and all of that I think is, is also orchestrated because by controlling the way we think and what we think about and what we give ourselves to and what we what we worry about and all these kinds of things by having a, a handle on all of that um, you kind of end up not so fussed in the morning um, so yes I, I get up straight out of bed um as well as soon as my alarm goes off and generally generally speaking i'm awake a minute or two before my alarm goes off but murphy's law if i don't set my alarm i won't wake up um and uh and so when i start off with a clean slate i can now i can now start putting in to my mind and my head, the things that I want, the things that I choose to feel good about. So, uh, and what better way than with, 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 with creating art? Um, so, uh, and also sharing that process. And you know, so I, I, I get to spend the rest of my day after these sessions is wonderful because uh, you know yes I have challenges and I have lots of challenges um, but I, I've always I've already created a mindset for myself that is conducive towards towards growth towards learning towards positive thinking towards abundance and that's why I get up early in the morning to work do these sessions it's it's important to me might not be important to others might, might be a struggle for others to do it's something that bears thinking about though and considering take it from me <laughs> it's a change of habit yes most definitely as with everything but you'll find that the early earlier you rise and of course don't forget, I was also younger once, and the thought of getting up anything bef before seven or eight o'clock was just insane. <laughs> now I think differently. 
not because I sleep less necessarily. I mean, I go to bed quite quite early though, so but I still get you know five, six hours sleep on on in general, um, which is sufficient. But it's a mindset, and it's a, and it's a, and it's a it's it's a habit that needs to be formed. But once you get into the swing of it, it's 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 quite um, liberating, really. And you feel a sense of real accomplishment after spending an hour doing this kind of work, whatever it is that you want to do. But uh, um, for me, spending an hour drawing, painting, whatever the case may be, um, and ha having already completed that hour by before five o'clock, <laughs> it's a real sense of accomplishment, and it's a uh, yeah, and and you feel that now you're fully energized and and fully in that creative vibe and essence. So I would recommend it to anybody. Maybe you don't need to get up at three thirty, but. But just start with something and, and start with something creative that stimulates creativity. It stimulates the mind and stimulates positivity and 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 uh, and abundance, abundant thinking. Nothing can go wrong thereafter. And once you practice that more and more and more, you realize you begin to realize that. The universe supports you, God supports you, whatever, and uh, and you don't get handed the stuff that you might attract before because you're not attracting it anymore. Scarcity has no place where abundance is present. Where joyful expression is present. If you battle with, battle to sleep, you battle with waking up, waking up stressful, all those kinds of things, give a thought to what I've been talking about. Give a thought. And if you want to, if you want to question me on that, by all means do so. Send me a, send me a comment in the, in the comment section below. And uh, I'll happily engage with you. Because we're all unique after all. So we all have our own unique set of challenges. Um, so my system, it's not a formula. Believe you me. Um, but you will have your own formula. You will have your own system. Um, that works for you because you're all, we're all unique. We have unique challenges. So, yes, by all means, feel free to to give me a shout. I'm happy to oblige. Right. Just a hint of lilac here and there. I'm using very little of the pale blue this time, and 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 more of those sort of sky blue hues because we don't have a blue sky per se. We have a, a kind of mostly overcast sky above, and it's ref the, what the water that you see in the foreground here is reflecting the sky above. So I'm just adding a little a little of this lilac here to to uh, just to take the edge off the the black and whiteness of it but but not 
so much that it becomes a colourful thing. And more, more importantly, actually, is, is where I'm using it here on, on the rocks because the rocks will, will glisten. And if, even if they're not directly reflecting the sunlight, or at least the, the, the light source above, um, they, are, they, are, they are glistening. And you find that, that where this, 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 this blue-black um, wetness of the rocks needs to be made more apparent. So that's why I'm just putting a touch, a touch of this lilac in here and there, just to acknowledge the fact that there is color in everything. In fact, I might even put a little bit more of a, of a, a deep mossy green in it as well, just to, but this is predominantly just black and white contrasting dark rocks, dark, wet, glistening rocks. That'll be enough. Think of that, and let's just work with a little bit of uh, gentle Conte crown line work. So the, for, for those of you watching who aren't in South Africa, <laughs> um, allow me to explain what load shedding is. Um, us South Africans are very, very well acquainted with, with load shedding. Um, so due to the uh, ineptitude of powers that be to ensure that our power grid is well serviced, that the, uh, the uh, places that make our energy are well maintained and serviced and what have you. Um, and we have a lack of that. So, so what happens is every now and again, a power station um, um, will break down. So then we have, um, obviously with 
rainy weather, for example, and things like that, we have an excess of, of use of electricity. So then there becomes a strain on the power grid and then we have faults happening and, and thus they have come up with this ESCOM, which is our national power supplier, um, has initiated some time back now, years ago in fact, um, has initiated this thing called load shedding. So where they, where they regulate the, um, the stream of, 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 of electricity into certain areas and, and have a system whereby instead of the whole blanket um, shutdown, they turn off certain areas, certain suburbs and what have you, certain zones um, to tap off on the pressure on the on the power supply. So that's what happened. So we had this this schedule, and uh, we haven't had load shedding for some time now, for maybe a I don't know a month or so, <clears throat> and then on Monday they reinstituted it again and I had forgotten to check the schedule because um, it, it changed the time the times of the times change so uh, but this morning was 4 to 6 a.m. and uh, on stage 2 or level 2 um, and uh, so I got going just before four o'clock, 10 to four, and what do you know? Load shedding kicked in. So, and now I see that they've upped, upped it to, uh, to stage four, which means that I have another two hour load shedding this evening. I think it's from eight to ten, something like that. Yeah, so it is a mission. It really is a mission, but I don't mind it that much. It doesn't. It doesn't really. Honestly, if if I'm honest with with, with you, it doesn't really affect me that much. It's a it's a bit of a niggle now and again because. You know, like this morning, for example. But I can always make a plan, which I did. I went back to bed. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Um, so, uh, yes, and sometimes I just, I just appreciate not having Wi-Fi. So that, you know, because obviously my router shuts down and I don't have any, I don't have any, um, any, uh, my, my, my fiber goes down. So I don't mind that because I can apply myself to something else. Um, something else that perhaps needs attention and, 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 and kind of, we we, 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 it's so easy for many of us to get stuck in, I, well, myself included, to get stuck into social media and what have you. Um, but when the, when I've got load shedding, I can't. So fine, I find something else to do. Usually something that's creative, even if it's reading, whatever it is to get busy with and and have fun with. I don't need I don't need electricity for that. So in a certain sense, load shedding is a kind of a blessing. Of course if we're if we're running laptops and computers and what have you, and we work from home, um, and we rely on that, then it's a then it's a real mission. But then we we, we sort ourselves out with uh, an ex, uh, you know, uh, uh, an in-house power supply, whatever it might be, a generator or a um, battery packs or whatever the case may be, so that we can just sustain the sustain our computers and what have you so I, I don't need that and you know, I don't rely on it I can I can manage with it without for two hours uh, at a time so yeah anyway uh, it's it's it is 
is an interesting scenario. It really is an interesting scenario because despite the shortcomings of government, and there are many, with all governments, there are many, um, and despite these shortcomings, <coughs> we learn to get on, we learn to adapt, we learn to, to make a plan for ourselves and not have to, and without having, placing our faith in, in, in what the government is able to organize and they are very disorganized so that so we, we we've come to we've come to realize that by and large that we if we don't if we don't sort ourselves out nobody is so uh yeah it's 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 kind of important to realize these things at an early stage and and then when this load shedding and what have you kicks in, uh, instead of complaining about it, we still get on, we get on with something else. We've made our plans, we've sorted, doesn't matter. So, yeah, that's what load shedding is all about. Um, and I guess every country has its challenges, some more than most at the moment. Anyway, I'm not going to pontificate about the Ukraine or anything like that. I'd rather, I'd rather stick to what I have at hand, and that is creativity, creation. And this lovely wave, it's wonderfully expressive, gentle yet expressive wave, and, and shore break. Well, it is kind of a shore break, but most of this, oh, a good 20 meters of, of the, up to the actual beach where the sand starts is, is, is all this rock. So, um, rocky sort of uh, reef so you couldn't call this this is more of a mid break than a shore break actually and the shore break it only covers these rocks at high tide I would imagine so So a nice, gentle, almost glassy sea, sea sea. horizon line to be fairly uh, blended with the with the sky um, it's hardly a transition unlike normally when I've got that um, very deep blue sea 
uh, with full sun above and what have you. Uh, and then we have a, a, a kind of an accentuated horizon line. It's like much darker, so, but not in this case. Just further enhancing the, the calmness of this setting. In fact, I'm just going to take that clamp off as well. Stick it up here somewhere. Just want to just further enhance the contrast of this. Yeah, but, but there's more. I do. Will, I will make it more subtle. Of course, just bear with me a little bit. Soften that, smooth it out nicely. So this is the chalk pastel that I'm using here, the white chalk pastel. So the pastels, um, when you use a, a paintbrush on them, it's kind of a, a sort of semi bristly paintbrush. Um, it smooths out nice and softly. If I use an eraser, it kind of blends and smudges more. Um, so these different tools that I, in fact, let's try this with the uh, with the SpongeBob SpongeBob Junior and see if that makes it. So it softens, but differently. It's actually probably more what I need. No, it's not quite quite what I need. I need the paintbrush. And and these kind of these kind of techniques or whatever. Um, are kind of what I've arrived at by default, and you you kind of you kind of have to do the same if you're an artist. If you're looking to explore different things, allow the artwork itself to to guide to guide you in terms of what it's what is needed, and that's how you arrive at these interesting techniques because they they're part of your expression you see it's not something that now you can just emulate i don't believe in that uh, you know don't, don't, don't get me wrong I, you know i i always think that we need to we, we do learn from others um and i've often gained some valuable um lessons from from other artists and i still do i always do However, you've got to make whatever you whatever you take on. Don't try and emulate exactly what the other person is doing. Try and make it your own. Modify. Um, try, ask. You know whatever whatever it is, and and create for yourself, so that your particular it becomes your particular style. And I, it's, 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 it's the way, this is how I found out about using my eraser and what, what, it's, what its benefits are beyond just rubbing stuff out. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful tool for exactly what I'm using it for here, to blend, to smudge, and to create these wonderful, wonderful streaks. So these things, these are the things that, that one needs to, and I hadn't 
uh, it just came about by by default or by accident and I picked up my eraser and and uh, it became this wonderful tool that I use extensively in my work wonderful so but you've got to actually try it and work at it and 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 and, and yeah, because it creates a certain feeling and in a in a in an essence, and you've got to try and work that out for yourself. There's certain how-to tutorials which I guess are important for, for getting going with, but to, the way I see it, it's about you know, as in terms of a beginner. Um, it's about how we observe. It's about how we feel. Feel the artwork. Um, you know, throughout this piece, I've been feeling its essence. I've been feeling its its mood. Um, I've been feeling the coolness of the water, the stillness of the sea. Um, you know, the the, the, the the light glinting off the off the uh, these little pools in in front. And this this kind of um, steely gray sky. Um, it's about feeling it. And, and in fact, the workshop that I had done um, in November, and I'm going to be continuing offering these workshops in due course now. Um, um, during that workshop, there was a there was. Well, it was it was for artists, but but there was one artist there who was a an absolute novice. I think she'd had maybe one lesson, and uh, oh my words! So sorry. I'm going to have to close the windows here because we've got this these fools drilling uh, a borehole. Oh my word! I didn't think I thought they'd stopped. Sorry. She, no, it's not going to make much difference. It's not going to make much difference up here, but I hope it doesn't affect the, the sound too much and that you can still hear me. Um, but these neighbors have, have got what looks like a freaking oil rig. Um, and they're obviously drilling a borehole. Ah, the whole of yesterday. Um, and they've got this, to power the, the rig that drills the, the hole, is this massive uh, generator. Um, massive generator. And it is insanely noisy so now I'm going to have to put up with this for the rest of today again once again these bloody retards and they are these particular neighbors are those of the type that don't give a toss for anybody else and yeah they just they continuously make noise and Anyway, so I do apologize. I wasn't expecting this. So, anyway, what can you do? Right, I think I'm, what, I'm going to, what I'm actually going to do now is start with a little bit of um, acrylic paint. Well, I've got 20 minutes left. So, this shan't have, you can see this is, this is the reason why I, I always prefer to try and do my my uh, sessions early in the morning when the neighbors haven't woken up and started with their alarms and their, all their rubbish that goes on. So I don't have, yeah, see this has now upset me. I'm irritated with this, but um, I need to just let it go. I want to just, I'm going to leave that off for now, I think. Clamp. The 
But yo, I tell you, you can't account for selfishness. Sure, they want to put a ball hole in. Fair enough. Just nothing wrong with notifying the neighbors that, hey, listen, we're going to be making a hellish amount of noise. That's that where you almost won't be able to hear yourself think. So, so loud it is. No, 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 no. Let's just rather, let's just rather, you can crack on you lot. Um, and of course it upsets Kit Kat and he gets, I can see him now, he's, he's sitting there looking around like, it's so loud, it's just insane. Now he's going to go and creep under the bed and hide like he does when there's thunder and lightning. It's just so bloody inconsiderate. E. coli in their water. <laughs> and you must know, so now I've got all the windows closed and yet there it is Yes, Kit Kat, I'm sorry. These pupils, yeah, shame. You see what I mean? It's horrible. And he gets frightened by this damn thing, it's so loud. And there's hissing and. Uh, and I thought they'd finished it yesterday. How long does it take to draw a damn hole? Right, let me forget about these idiots. Are you okay, buddy? Huh? You're right. And he came to tell me that he's most unimpressed, of course, as am I. So it's not just me, you see. I'm not just venting for no reason. And he doesn't, Kit Kat doesn't normally get upset like this until, unless, um, unless there's like serious thunder and, 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 and that sort of thing. But he doesn't usually get upset like this and you know, he's, he's fully, you know, he doesn't like it at all. Poor little bugger. Yes, damn fools. Ah, so I'm just using a bit of a, a palette knife here to to work with. And now becomes apparent the reason why I've um, left some clear paper, base paper areas there because the acrylic paint um, 
in certain spots needs to attach to the to the paper, and in other spots doesn't. Um, where is it? Other paintbrush watches. Um, like here, but it, but then that just adds to the effect as well. So I leave some areas that are that will take the paint and others where they where it doesn't. And that just gives a nice mottled effect. So what you can hear now is this is this generator just idling. <laughs> It'll rev up soon when they start to drill. I've only got a few, you know, 10, 15 minutes left, so thank goodness. And I shall not engage with these sessions. Here we go, revving up. What can you do, naked cat? What can you do with an ink and poop? got this wave that has has expended itself well it's still just in the throes of expending itself against the the, 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 the ledge of the reef here <laughs> you know <laughs> Just when I was talking earlier about it, about adapting, hey, you know, <laughs> I wasn't expecting this this morning. I really, really wasn't. I thought that they had done with it. No, maybe they found, maybe they found oil. I don't know. Pretty industrious neighbours. Maybe they'll come and ask me to help accommodate the, the, the mining crew. Completely gormless. Um, when it comes to just simple, simple, basic compassion, and that's why we have such troubles in this world. Just considering the lives and livelihoods and well-being of others. For so many people, it, it doesn't even come into their consciousness, and because they are of such low consciousness. Um, and I'm not judging, it's just, that's just the way of it. And that's why we have such 
trauma in this world at this time and for ages past but things are changing things will change we must know this anyway I'm having fun <laughs> nevertheless I've got over it now maybe the camera um, sound receiving will, will adapt to the to the changing sound Kit Kat's just sitting there thoroughly unimpressed now. Don't you get that? Hmm? I must admit, I haven't seen a uh, a borehole a borehole drilling rig as monstrous as that. Jeez. The, the rig itself is you can actually see it. It's probably 30 meters high, 20, 20 to 30 meters high, mounted on the back of a of a truck. Uh, 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 with with great big stabilizers, of course, and then there's another truck, another flatbed truck, with this massive generator on the back of it as well, the size of this room. Um, and that's what's making the noise, is the generator. Yeah. What can you do? with the bastards that live across the way. Right, I need to wipe my finger. more than five minutes left with this piece and uh, <laughs> and I'll leave you in peace <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me uh, right I need to get, work around this with some white you're right now hey you come to terms with it kick it just just accept that they're assholes Yeah. Nothing you can do about it. Pupples will be pupples.
I don't really want to put the clamp on again because it's Yes, boy. It's all right. Nearly out of time. We've just got a few minutes left. Just a few finishing touches here. Oh, sorry, sorry. Might go a little over time. Not that long. So I'm just trying to lay down some white here with a very, with a fine paintbrush, but it doesn't want to really um, attach. So because it's very thick paint, uh, it's thick paint that I'm using. So what I'm doing is I'm just applying it and then rolling it along um, so that it comes off the off the brush that way. Just those little little highlight flicks. That's it.
little bit of that snow. We're running a minute or so over time now. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I do believe that we're done. I do believe that we're done. Well, I'm done anyway. <laughs> Can't handle this sound, this noise anymore. I don't know what I'm going to have to do because. Right, let's uh, sign off. What color are we going to sign off with? Let's use a. Let's use our low again, our lilac. Go. Uh, yep. Twenty, twenty two. And there we go. <laughs> All right, guys. We're done. <laughs> I do apologize for the uh, for the noise. I um, hope you were able to to uh, at least get get some of what I was saying earlier on. So Kit Kat says goodbye. He's not he's not happy, but uh, yeah, look, he's not happy at all. <laughs> all right, guys, take it easy. Um, hope you've enjoyed the process. Thank you for joining in. Thank you to your to the new subscribers for joining in. Um, really great to have you on board and thank you all for your support. So oodles and oodles of toodles and shall see you again next week. Um, I'm going to take a couple of days off now um, in preparation for my demonstration this weekend. And uh, yes, so uh, I'm not sure what I'll be doing next week though, we shall see. I've got loads and loads and loads of reference mater material to go through, but uh, so well, probably another seascape. But anyway, you take care, folks. Be good, be gentle, be kind, be caring, be, be loving. Bye. <laughs> Kit Kat, we're saying goodbye now. And don't forget to doodle. <laughs>